Hello, St. Joe, and welcome to Ignite the Vision, St. Joe's first virtual gala. I'm Bethany Bergen, Director of Mission Advancement, and I am so excited to be celebrating this evening with you. Thank you for being here. To get everybody started, let's make sure you have everything set up that you'll need to participate fully in tonight's celebration. You will need two devices this evening. The first, such as a laptop, desktop, or smart TV, is what you'll use to watch this program. The second device, such as a cell phone, is what you will need to participate in the bidding, whether the live or the silent auction, or to make a donation. If you have not yet set up a Ready, Set, Auction account, please take your second device and visit stjohigh.com gala to request your account. You'll receive an email to activate it, so make sure you're selecting an email address that's pretty easy to access in this moment. If you have already set up and authenticated a Ready, Set, Auction account, take a moment now using your second device to pull up the event website and log in so that you're ready to rock and roll. The silent auction is open from now until 8.30 p.m. Later in the program, our auctioneer, Neil Saffer, will lead us in the live auction. Some really great items there tonight. You're not gonna wanna miss that. All of the live auction items will launch at the same time. We will describe each in turn, and then bidding will close on all live auction items at the same time near the end of the program. There may be a delay between our broadcast and the auction software. So tonight is not the night to be a surprise or stealth bidder. If you wait too long to bid, you might miss the opportunity entirely. So as the saying goes, bid early, bid high, and bid often. And remember that all proceeds directly benefit the students of St. Joseph High School and support our mission. Please also know that you're able to bid simultaneously on as many auction packages as you wish. If you need any help throughout tonight's program, please feel free to call us. We're here standing at the ready to assist you. The number is 574-233-6137. Also know that throughout the evening, we will be announcing the winners of our gift cards in the amounts of $25 or more. If your name is called, please comment on the live stream so that we know you're here. It doesn't matter if you're watching us through YouTube or through Facebook, but you do need to be watching in order to claim your prize. In fact, feel free to comment at any time to share pictures of you and your family in your gala finery, or to tag us at St. Joe High, or use hashtag Ignite2020. We have a great lineup for you this evening. We have so many special guests, starting with Bishop Kevin Rhodes. We have Principal John Kennedy, members of the class of 2020, our honorees, John and Jenny Stodd, and a special musical guest, Justin McCormick. So grab your champagne or kick back in your slippers and let's get this gala started. Our first guest this evening is Father Ryan Pietrocarlo, co-chaplain of St. Joseph High School. Father Ryan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of our St. Joe High School community. Bless our students, especially our graduates, that they may be sent off by the power of the Holy Spirit to enrich the world from all they have received here at St. Joe. And bless all of us, kindle in us continual charity to support this school and our community and use us as instruments to keep conforming saint joe as a powerful presence of you in the world we ask this through christ our lord amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen i would now like to introduce to you our bishop bishop kevin rhodes who will share with us some words greetings to all of you during this easter season it's too bad that we haven't been able to gather this year for the annual gala to support St. Joseph High School. Obviously, we couldn't get together because of the coronavirus pandemic. But I'm glad that we are able to meet virtually um, because the needs that the gala support are, are still very important. And I just want you to know how proud I am of St. Joseph High School and its Catholic mission. 
I was recently reading uh, the strategic plan, the five-year strategic plan that actually began this year, the first year of the plan, and I was really inspired uh, by what I read. The motto, as you may know, uh, for the plan is building faith, character, and excellence. And that motto really expresses what St. Joseph High School is all about. It's all about forming young people in the faith. It's about helping our young men and women to be people of, of strong moral character. And of course, it's about excellence. Excellence certainly in academics and excellence in every area really, including moral excellence. So I want to thank you for supporting this wonderful mission of St. Joe's High School. And I want to ask your support for uh, financial aid for the students who are in need. You may know that over half of the student body at St. Joe's receives some kind of financial aid. And um, especially at this time with the pandemic and the financial and economic struggles of many uh, parents, I anticipate there'll be uh, more aid needed for students so that they will continue their education at St. Joseph High School. And you may be in difficult financial situation too because of the pandemic, but if you're able, I ask you to please be generous uh, in this year's gala to help those who are in need so that the enrollment at St. Joe's will continue to be strong and that students um, who otherwise would not be able to afford to attend St. Joseph High School will have the means because of your generosity. You've been so good and generous to St. Joseph High School through the years, and um, I just want you to know how grateful I am uh, for all uh, the sacrifices you make for this really important cause, the formation and the education of our young people. May God bless you and may God bless St. Joseph High School. Good evening and welcome to Gala 2020, Ignite the Vision. Thank you so much for being here. I'd like to thank Father Ryan for prayer and Bishop Kevin Rhodes for his remarks and support for this event. I'd also like to thank the following people for their support of this event our school board members and our school board president, Mr. Chad Gentry. Our gala committee, they provided many ideas as we transitioned to make this a virtual event. Our students, Angel and Katie for speaking tonight. Bethany Bergen for her leadership role and her team, Emily Hunt and Taylor Valentine for coordinating this event. With no time to waste tonight, we'd like to get started with the reason we're here, raising funds for St. Joseph High School I'd like to introduce our auctioneer coming at you live from Boca Raton, Florida, Mr. Neil Saffer. Thank you, Principal Kennedy. It's my honor to be part of this St. Joe Ignite the Vision Gala once again. Friends, they say challenging times call for creative solutions. And this year, Bethany, Emily, and the St. Joe team have gotten incredibly creative. They've been working 24 seven around the clock to bring you this virtual gala. I wish that we could all be together at the Armory and I know we will be soon. But this year, I'm in a studio in South Florida. My wife, Trisha, behind the desk here watching the bids come in live. Bob and Alex at the Play Image studio just down the hall and Bethany, Emily and the St. Joe team in South Bend. We wanna thank you all for tuning in. This is gonna be a great evening and we're here for St. Joe, a special school and a very special evening. Friends, we'd like to start by thanking our sponsors. We could not do this without our sponsors. They're great community partners and we greatly appreciate them. Tire Rack, what a great local organization, what a great national organization. It's where I get my tires, a great sponsor, and we thank them and we appreciate them. Gurley Leap, Anthony Travel, South Bend Orthopedics, great examples of community partners, great friends of St. Joe, and thank you. Friends, the easiest way to participate is to watch Ignite on your computer, your laptop, or your smart TV. You can watch on Facebook Live or YouTube Live, and you can bid on a separate mobile device. 
I assume most of you are already logged in, but if you're not, Bob's got a QR code put up on your screen. If you just take a picture of that QR code with your cell phone, it'll take you right to the registration page. Or if it's easier, just go to www.stjohigh.com slash gala, click in the upper right, and it'll take you right to the screen. We've got a very exciting evening up ahead. We've got some great live auction items coming up ahead, which I'm gonna to describe to you in just a moment. But first, our first raffle winner for the evening is Lisa Doran. Lisa Doran, please comment on Facebook Live or YouTube Live. We've got a raffle prize for you. Thank you. I'm gonna run down our live auction items. They're all in your catalog. You could read all about them and see the pictures, but we've only got till eight o'clock p.m. The live auction goes to 8 p.m. As Bethany said, get your bids in early, get them in often, bid high for St. Joe. Every dollar raised directly affects your student, your son, your daughter, those St. Joe's students. Thank you. Friends, item number one, principle for the day. You're gonna hear more about it for a minute in a, just a few minutes, but Principal Kennedy and your son or daughter changing places for the day. Item number one, principle for the day. Our second item is an unbelievable Napa Valley, California trip, an amazing five bedroom home in Yountville, California, right in the foot of Napa Valley, bordering the vineyards. You're gonna hear about this home. It's a $25,000 value. It'll sleep six couples. You can get together on this one and have the vacation of a lifetime. The Napa Valley trip, it's item number two. Friends, item number three is a South Africa experience. You may have seen this last year at our event. Um, this is a once in a lifetime South Africa experience. It's very unique. It's a private estate. It's for two people. It includes all your meals and wine and safari and photo safari and so much more. You're gonna hear a whole lot of details about it, but this trip is really a bucket list experience. And when you're bidding, remember, there's no expiration date. You could use it next year, the following year, or the following year. So if you've got that special anniversary birthday event coming up, the South Africa experience is something you wanna bid on. Dale Henry, world-renowned speed painter Dale Henry is gonna do a live painting for us on this show in just a few minutes. Stay tuned, if you know who he is, you're gonna to wanna to see this. If you don't, you're in store for a real treat. Dale Henry live painting, I assure you, it's a good bid. It's item number four in our live auction. Item number five, the Notre Dame suite tickets. Luxury box, four people, the game versus Louisville on November 21st, all your wine and beer and food, deluxe parking passes and so much more. Item number five, we've got a lot of action on that one already, the Notre Dame sweet tickets. Item number six in the live, dinner with Father Terry. Father Terry coming to your home, cooking dinner for you, your family, your friends, telling stories that only Father Terry can tell. We call it the blessed feast. It's the priest feast and it's with Father Terry. It's item number six. We've got a private mass with Father Ryan, a private mass for you, your family, your friends in the chapel of St. Joseph. It's item number seven. You're gonna hear more about that later. And a big hot item so far tonight, item number eight, temper grill wine dinner for eight in your home with Chef Sean Kelly. Your home, fine wines, Chef Sean and you designing a menu in your home. That is the Chef Sean Kelly wine dinner in your home, item number eight. Friends, get your bids in early. Every dollar raised goes to St. Joe and directly benefits the students. And now please enjoy this video about St. Joe and what makes this school so special. St. Joe is a place where anyone can be part of their own community, whether it be musical, sports, you know, or you're even your own kind of ethnic culture. There's not a single group that you won't be able to fit in. It's a community. We're here to support each other. We love each other. We do excellent work together. It's a bigger school, but all the teachers care, and you know everyone, and everyone's always there to help you no matter what. I love St. Joe because it gives us so many different outlets to enjoy our high school experience and to meet new people and just enjoy every aspect of it. The classes are hard, and they challenge me and make me a better person. Yeah, I like St. Joe for the great, friendly, positive atmosphere and all the good people here. I love St. Joe specifically um, for our sports teams. We have uh, really great sports teams, really great atmosphere here um, where we can create a sense of community and all come together, uh, especially on our sports teams. 
St. Joe's been a really nurturing place for me. One of the reasons I came to St. Joe is because they offered me uh, learning opportunities I really needed, especially in mathematics. I was uh, pretty advanced in mathematics, and St. Joe allowed me to go into a higher math uh, if I was ready. Um, and I really found that that is just indicative of how St. Joe is such a such a community that allows for learning both inside and outside of school. Um, I've really loved my time here at St. Joe, and it's really set me up uh, for uh, my college career. I'm really excited about that. I really love this school because it's a really welcoming environment. All of the teachers are like really open to talk to you. If you're struggling in the class, they will help you. Having come here from a place where I have lived my entire life, uh, I had no idea what to expect from St. Joe. Um, but this place is special in that I have found I have found my place. There's a lot of opportunities to like make friends and uh, get to know people from all the sports teams in the classroom. And teachers really work to make it a good community of learning and uh, and just a good time. I love the atmosphere and the family. Yes, all the togetherness and all the people that can connect together as one. We learn to grow, we learn to serve, and we learn to do great things here. It's definitely been one of the best decisions my parents have ever made for me to have sent me here. It's a very good Catholic environment. I do love the people here. Um, it's certainly going to be a place that I will remember very fondly for the rest of my life. I love that video. It captures so much that is special about St. Joseph High School. And who better to deliver it than students? I hate that I have to follow them. I hope you're having fun and enjoying the evening. I will keep my remarks brief. This year, I learned anew about strength in community. And that strength is so evident at St. Joseph High School. It's evident in the way our upperclassmen welcomed our freshmen to school in August in the way we passed over 35,000 diapers hand over hand to support the Women's Care Center in October, in how we came together to support a family from one of our feeder schools who lost their home in a fire over the winter, the way our students showed up to support their teams, their athletic teams, and they showed up loud and proud, and, and, this, and in the support we showed for a faculty member who had lost a loved one. Then of course, here comes the COVID-19 pandemic. But our administrative team, collaborated to solve new and unique problems. Our teachers and staff supported each other and even trained each other as they transformed their instruction into e-learning. And they supported our, our students in this new way of, of doing school. And they also supported our students emotionally, knowing that they had lost so much of, about, of what they love about coming to St. Joe. Our students, of course, were there to support each other. Our parents, God bless you. You were there to support us and your students as your home became a place where school was happening and work was happening. Wow. And members of our St. Joe community came together to provide emergency financial aid for families that were impacted by the economic shutdown. Mostly, however, we showed tremendous compassion and heartfelt care for all members of our community and the community at large as we all made it through this difficult time. This was evident in prayer, in words, and in actions. Coretacott Scott King said, the greatness of a community is most accurately measured by the compassionate actions of its members. Mrs. Scott King would be proud of St. Joe. It is the common belief in our mission to transform students in heart and mind and in our values of faith, character, and excellence, and of course, love, that provides us great strength as a community. It is this strength, that allowed us to rise to the occasion and be transformative and resilient this semester. As we move forward, we will continue having a standard for excellence, and we want more and more students to be part of this community. We never want finances to be a barrier for a student to experience the education that we provide, one that includes faith formation, character development, and academic excellence. With that in mind, I again thank you. The support that you give tonight will be used judiciously to help more and more students thrive and to go out into the world and the wider community ready to be leaders, to tackle problems, to share their faith, to model outstanding character, and to make a positive impact for years to come.
I feel blessed to be part of the St. Joe community, and I know that I am stronger and better for it. Thank you so much. And now back to Neil. Thank you, Principal Kennedy. What a great example of leadership. Friends, during this coronavirus pandemic, Principal Kennedy has kept the students at the center of every decision. He's committed to offer positive encouragement to students via regular video broadcasts and even honored the class of 2020 by running one mile for every senior, yelling out their name and tagging them via Twitter as he does, as he does so. He's run already over 160 miles. That's more than I've run in my entire life. Mr. Kennedy has remained committed to hosting an in-person commencement ceremony scheduled for July 24th at St. Joe's very own Layton Stadium. Principal Kennedy has made it possible to provide lunches to students at St. Joe's partner schools by reaching out and coordinating with our around town rivals. He adds joy at the start of every semester by greeting every student with a fist bump. He's special. You speak to the teachers, you speak to the parents, you speak to the students. He is what a leader should be, and he's our principal at St. Joe's. Friends, auction item number one, live auction item number one is principal for the day. Your student, your son or daughter, is going to start the day greeting students with fist bumps. Choose a lunch menu, visit classrooms, arrange meetings with colleagues or friends, uh, meet with the administrative team, inspect the campus facilities. But the best part, and you're going to be able to custom design this schedule with Principal Kenny um, and your student to what works, but the best part Principal Kennedy is going to be in your student's seat in the classroom taking notes. So it's an even swap. This is principal for the day. It's live auction item number one. And as Bethany said, bid early because this live auction closes at 8 p.m. And every dollar raised goes for the students at St. Joe. Friends, live auction item number two. Number two is an unbelievable vacation to Napa Valley, Yountville, California, this magnificent five bedroom home, two acres of beautiful land, bordering a vineyard, five ensuite bedrooms, a 900 square foot chef's kitchen. I know somebody was staying in his home and it was unbelievable. This house rents for $25,000 a week if you can get it. It's for all, for St. Joe, friends, Five couples could get together. The house actually sleeps six couples, two swimming pools, a pool house, five bedrooms, and so much more. It's item number two, the five bedroom Napa Valley home, mutually acceptable date, subject to availability. It's a $25,000 value. Every dollar goes to benefit the students at St. Joe. And thank you for your bid. Once again, um, you can watch on your computer or tablet, your smart TV. You can bid on your mobile phone. If you have any questions, we're going to flash that QR code once again. Live item number three is a real bucket list item. We call it Tulani. It's a stay at a private estate on a private conservancy in South Africa. It's right by Kruger National Park. It's on a 55,000 acre private conservancy. It's owned by our friends, Joanne Young and Ch Chad Littleton. You can have a private chef, Liesl, will cook anything you want. Wild game, vegan, organic, seafood, whatever. Last time we were there, we put on 13 pounds. Beautiful wine cellar, you have full access to the wine cellar. Kelvin, the game driver, will take you out on unlimited drives. Every day you'll see elephants, zebras, Giraffes, more giraffes than you can imagine. Nialas, kudus, there's everything. The African Big Five. Friends, it's for a couple, it's a week. It's unlimited meals and gourmet and wine and so much more. Chad and Joanne, their passion is digging wells for schools in South Africa to have no water. They have a foundation called Spring of Hope. And if you go and want to visit one of those schools, you can do so. Friends, this is for a couple, it's for two people, but it's a five bedroom house. If you want to upgrade it or add some people, you can do so for an additional fee. But the winner of this is per couple, two people, a 55,000 acre game reserve, a beautiful estate, infinity pool, a bomba, pizza oven, private chef, and so much more. You're gonna love it. Friends, this is not a resort. This is a private estate. We've sold this trip in South Bend for 15, 20, and $25,000, and people have come back and thanked us. 
Do not miss this opportunity. Best part, no expiration. You could use it this year, next year, next year, or the following year. There's no expiration. Once again, um, that is item number three, the South Africa experience. We're gonna draw another raffle winner now, and this winner is Anita McCombs. Anita McCombs, if you could comment on Facebook Live, YouTube Live, we've got a raffle prize for you. I've got a special treat for you all. About eight years ago, Trish and I were walking through Art Basel, one of the biggest art fairs in the world, seeing all this crazy stuff, bananas duct taped to the wall and steel wool and paper clips on tables. Nothing really caught my eye, but I walked by this display of fine art and it was unbelievable. I met the artist, his name was Dale Henry, found out he was lived and been all over the world, displayed all over the world, and he did some charity work and I said, would you help us with some of our friends? He said, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, he's performed all over the world. He's been in the Madison Square Garden, the biggest venues in Europe and uh, the Asia, and the Orient, Asia. And uh, please, please welcome Dale Henry. Hey everybody, I wish I could be there with you. The times we're having now, I don't know. Anyway, are you ready to go? I'm ready, if you're ready, here we go. Music. Enjoyed that as much as I did. God be with you. Give it up for Dale Henry once again, Creative Solutions. Dale would have been performing for us live tonight at the Army in South Bend, but because of the situation, that was done at his home, at his farm in Fruitland, Florida. Once again, Dale performs all over the world. His work 
fine art, some of the biggest galleries in the world. I've seen his work at Art Basel, 30, 40, $50,000. That iconic Golden Dome piece done tonight for St. Joe can be yours. It's item number four. Friends, it looked great in your home, in your den, in your office, in your son and daughter's room, in a dorm room, or maybe on a wall of St. Joe. Friends, that's item number four. All the dollars raised are going to St. Joe tonight. Please, please bid often and bid high. Item number four, Dale Henry painting, specially created for tonight's Ignite the Vision Gala. Don't worry about us getting it to you. You go see the address, we'll ship it. It will arrive perfectly from Fruitland, Florida to South Bend, Indiana for St. Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, item number five, Notre Dame Sweet Tickets, donated by Russ and Trisha Romy. This is how to enjoy football. Four tickets to Notre Dame versus Louisville on November 21st, 2020. This is in the sweet suite. Cushion seats, indoor, outdoor, the big screen inside, perfect view of the field, all the food you could eat, beer, wine, non-alcoholic beverages, and parking passes, the best parking passes. We got a lot of action on that item. That's item number five, the Notre Dame suite tickets. Um, game day programs, portable phone chargers, other day game items are provided. Go Irish, beat Cardinals, get your bids in, friends. This is, uh, live auction is going to close at 8 o'clock for St. Joe. Get those bids in. Now it's my pleasure. Please welcome Katie Verheile. Hi, everyone. My name is Katie Verheile. I am a senior at St. Joe High this year. Many of you may know my parents, Harry and Joanne, from different sporting events, activities at St. Joe, or just throughout the diocese. I am the youngest of the Verheiles, lucky number seven. I grew up around the halls of the old St. Joe. While my mom stuffed envelopes for the soundings, I was roaming around getting lost in the back stairwells. There were a lot of memories that took place in that old building, and to be completely honest, I am somewhat saddened I did not have the same experience and traditions as my older siblings did. Although I'm still very grateful for the opportunity of the new building and everything that I've been given. Thank you for those who sacrificed to fund the new building. Thank you for the generosity towards St. Chow. And if I may speak on behalf of the students, we are so grateful for you. As I entered my freshman year, the new building may not have had the same attraction as the old, but all I saw was a blank canvas for new traditions and old traditions to come with it. I went to every football game to watch my brother Jimmy play, and I tried to make it to every basketball game and other various events to be part of the Indian spirit. I myself have a lot of Indian pride, even long before I had a uniform on. You see, when I was born, my oldest brother Patrick had started his junior year at St. Joe. That means there has been a highly here for the past 20 years. The education we've received at St. Joe is exceptional and has prepared my siblings, and now me, to take the next step in our life, whether that be the military, trades, or college, we've gone all different directions. We have been well prepared and we are very grateful to Fort St. Joe. All the siblings have been living the mission of St. Joe High by serving God and humanity. Patrick is an educator at Marion University. Lauren is a leader at CYO camps. Michelle is an emergency room nurse in Manhattan, New York. Chris is serving in the Marine Corps and now for the sales force. Maggie is a labor delivery nurse in Indianapolis. Jimmy is an electrician apprentice, and I am on my way to St. Mary's to study nursing next year. There are three things that we will take away from St. Joe and carry throughout our whole life. The Catholic education, the solid faith, and the Indian pride. The faith throughout the four years of my theology classes, I have learned the importance of Christ being in every part of my life from all school masses to the volleyball court to the numerous prayers before my math tests, I have had my faith in to my trust in God that we will take along with my whole life. The education has been amazing and a learning experience for myself. I am very grateful for the teachers, selflessness, and commitment to helping me become a better person, not just a better student. I am very grateful for my parents to invest in that and in my Catholic education. And, last but not least, the Indian spirit. As I am ready to step out of high school world, I know that the attitude is playing a big part in the way we approach life. I want to take the Indian spirit through life and live passionately. It is sad to think I am not going to be yelling at the top of my lungs at the student section ever again, 
Although I'm going to be going to St. Mary's right down the road and I will be cheering, I'll take my cheering skills into the Notre Dame student section. And then maybe I'll just yell some encouraging words to one of my patients as a nurse someday. We'll see. <laughs> I feel like I'm closing out an era of the Verheyle family and my graduation will just be a bittersweet moment. I am grateful to the St. Joe family and my family is grateful to St. Joe. Thank you. Wow, what an incredibly impressive young lady and what an impressive family. And that's one of 900 plus impressive students at St. Joe. That's why we're here, that's why you're here, that's what this is all about. Thank you, Katie. Friends, we've got a few more auction items to talk about and these get fun. Live auction item number six, they call it the Priest Feast. I call it dinner with Father Terry Coon. And this is an annual favorite. Father Terry coming to your home, preparing dinner, telling stories, entertaining in a way that only Father Terry can. They call it the Priest Feast. And it's item number six on your live auction. Father Terry is gonna prepare a meal and spend time with your family. Mutually agreeable date. And uh, this is gonna be one of those ones you're gonna remember for a long time. It doesn't get more fun than that. And talk about St. Joe oriented item. Item number six, we got a lot of bids on that and they're going up quick. Uh, dinner with Father Terry, he's doing the cooking. Item number seven, at the Chapel of St. Joseph, a private mass with Father Ryan Pietro Carlo. The co-chaplain of St. Joe's School, guide your family through a personal and intimate celebration or liturgy. Maybe an anniversary, a birthday, a special occasion at St. Joe in the chapel with Father Ryan, friends. That's item number seven. Again, use it when it's a special time for you. Father Ryan and St. Joe will make it happy. It's about St. Joe. It's about family. It's about the school. It's about this education. Friends, item number seven, a private mass with Father Ryan. And a, and a one that's been going up since we got here. Item number eight, the wine dinner with Chef Sean Kelly from the Temper Grill. Friends, Chef Sean coming to your house, designing a meal for you and friends. That's eight people. That could be Trisha, myself, and six of you, or, or just eight of you, whatever you want. But uh, it's the one that everybody's talking about. It's the Temper Grill wine dinner for eight in your home. Chef Sean's gonna bring some of his fine high-end wines and a not-to-be-missed experience. You can pick a date anytime between now and a year from now. It's, as again, all the funds go to benefit the students at St. Joe. That's the Temper Grill Wine Dinner for Eight. What I'm gonna do now, because this live auction only goes to LPM, I'm gonna review all those items one more time, give you all an opportunity to bid on them and tell you how special they are. Item number one, principal for the day, your son or your daughter. Switching places with Principal Kennedy making schedules, making lunches, making meetings, him and his or her seat, and so much more. Item number one, principal for the day for St. Joe. Item number two, that Napa trip, we've got bids on it. It could be five or six families kicking on this one. It's five nights in Yountville, two acres, bordering a vineyard right in the heart of Napa Valley. You pick your date. Friends, this is a package that's worth $25,000. Every dollar benefits the students at St. Joe. Item number three, that South Africa experience. Friends, I sold this package one night in Elkhart to five couples for $25,000 each, and they all came back and thanked me. This is bucket list. It's every animal you could ever imagine wanting to see. It's the best food, it's great wine, and it's private. It's a private estate on a 55,000 acre private game reserve. Unlimited photo safaris, the greatest people you ever meet. It's heaven and you could use it this year, the following year, the following year, the following year. When the time is right, you go. Joanne will make it happen. She's a wonderful, and you're gonna have a bucket list experience of a lifetime. Item number four, the Dale Henry painting. The iconic golden dome. Again, look great in your home, your office, your son or daughter's room, maybe their new dorm room at Notre Dame, or uh, maybe at St. Joe. You bid on it, you win, we'll get it to you wherever you are, it'll arrive perfectly. Dale will make that happen. Thank you, Dale, and thank you, bidders. Number five, the dinner with Father Terry, Father, excuse me, number five, the Notre Dame suite tickets, 11-21-2020, Louisville, private suite, 
food, drinks, and so much more. A bunch of good times for you and four people. Private suite, Notre, um, Notre Dame versus Louisville, November 21st, 2020. Dinner with Father Terry. Father Terry coming to your home, cooking dinner, you, your family, your friends, a special evening, all for St. Joe. Friends, number seven, number seven, a private mass with Father Ryan. This is serious, this is St. Joe oriented, it's special and it's unique. In a Cathedral of St. Joseph, your family, maybe a special anniversary, maybe your parents, your grandparents, children, grandchildren. Uh, unique and one of a kind experience. It's all for St. Joe and all the benefit to students. Thank you, Father Terry, Father Ryan, for making these opportunities available for the families and thank you for bidding. And the last one, Chef Sean Kelly, the private temper grill wine dinner for eight in your home, high-end wines, amazing food. Everybody loves temper grill and everybody loves Chef Sean. Friends, just about 15 minutes left in the bidding. Get your bids in. These items are, it's, it's a unique opportunity to help the school to get some great bucket list items. And again, thank you for tuning in. Friends, our raffle winner number three, Dennis Cleary. Dennis, if you're out there, just uh, comment on Facebook Live, YouTube Live, whatever platform you're using. Raffle winner number three, Dennis Cleary. Now friends, very special presentation. Please welcome Angel Vasquez. Good evening, St. Joe community. I am Angel Vasquez, and I am a member of the class of 2020. And I'm lucky enough to be talking to you guys today about what St. Joe uh, means to my future. And well, the, the most concise way to say this is St. Joe allowed me to have a future in terms of getting where I am going to be or where I am now and what I'm going to be doing in the fall. I come from an immigrant family, like his, like a Hispanic family. And we, we don't have, we have this perception that kids like us, we're meant to succeed, but we don't really know how to, like, we don't really know what steps to take in order to get to, uh, that idea of success. And that's how it honestly was throughout middle school. And when I first got to high school, I thought this is my last form of education. This is my last point. Like after high school, I'm going to have to get a job and that's my future. That's set and done. But once I stepped into St. Joe, things changed. St. Saint Joe believed in me and gave me the tools to get to where I am now. I am the first person in my family to be attending university at in the United States. And that's honestly amazing. But I had no clue how to, what how standardized testing was. I had no clue what a good work ethic was. I, I didn't even know how to even apply for college. And that my future was up in the air, basically, the minute I stepped in. But taking honors classes, taking AP classes, like that instilled a work, a work ethic into me like never before. I like I had to work hard. I had to prepare. I had to study. I like before things had come naturally to me. And I'm, I'm sure a lot of people felt like that. But this was the the turning point. This was where I realized I can have a future. If I continue to work like this, I can have a future. I, I felt like St. Joe was my second family that supported me and gave me the means to create a future for myself. And I'm glad to say that I will be attending the University of Notre Dame this fall because of St. Joe. And my future is thanks to what I've learned in these last four years. It's a loving community that I can never, I wouldn't trade for the world, honestly. And I'm glad I got to learn and experience my time here at St. Joe. And while the time this year might have ended with a bitter, bittersweetly, I wouldn't have traded this experience for the world because... And at the end of the day, I'll be having another graduation four years from now, another senior year experience in college, and that'll be because that future was unlocked here. Thank you. Thank you, Angel. Friends, that's what it's all about. This is a time for our virtual paddle raise, and um, please do what you can. 51% of the students at St. Joe's are on some form of financial aid. 
That might be your son or daughter's best friend, their teammate, their classmate, their study mate, or the young man or woman sitting next to them in class. They would never know it and you would know it. You would never know it. And that's what this is about. Friends, our virtual paddle raise this evening is for scholarships and financial aid for those students at St. Joe who need it most. Friends, if you are so capable or able at any level, just click that button. We're gonna do this just like we do it live. I'm gonna start high and work our way down. I'm gonna introduce you to each of the increments that you could participate in. And all we ask is for a high level of participation. If everybody could be part of this mission, if everybody could help out those students any way they can, it would be appreciated. You are changing lives and building futures. Friends, we're gonna start at $5,000. If, if anyone here could commit $5,000 $5,000 to changing lives and building futures. That young boy or young girl, that young man or that young woman next to your son or your daughter, $5,000 might be a life-changing gift. If you could commit $5,000, just click that button on your phone, your mobile device, or whatever you're working off of, and you will make a difference. Every dollar makes a difference. Every click makes a difference. How about $2,500? $2,500. Once again, $2,500 to our virtual paddle race, our scholarship fund. 51% of those students need some degree of help, and we can do that tonight. We can make a difference. Thank you. How about $1,000, friends? $1,000. Maybe your time is as challenging as your neighbor's. Maybe you can make a difference. If you can, $1,000, a $1,000 click, a $1,000 commitment may change a life of a student right here at St. Joe. Maybe it's your neighbor, maybe it's your son or daughter's best friend. How about $500? $500 could do the same. $500 can make a difference. Your $500 pledge, your $500 commitment can change a life. $500 in our virtual paddle raise on your phone makes that kind of difference. $250. 250 makes a difference. Four 250s is 1,000 and 5,000s is a 5,000. Every dollar helps. Every dollar goes directly to those students in need in St. Joe, sharing those sports teams, those classrooms with your students, your son and daughters. How about $100? How about $100, friends? Any level, any increment that you're comfortable, we would just love to see a large and high level of participation any way you do tonight, whether it's an online auction item, a silent auction item, a paddle raise makes a difference for the school, the students, and we appreciate it. Friends, um, we're gonna keep the paddle raise open for a while, so feel free to just keep going back and clicking. Our fourth raffle winner, Mary Jo Mallstaff. Mary Jo Mallstaff, if you're out there, just comment in our Facebook Live or our YouTube Live, and we appreciate everybody for being tuned in. Friends, Please welcome back Bethany Bergen. Thank you so much, Neil. And thanks to everyone who has contributed to this very important cause this evening. Thank you so very much. We appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. We've come to the part of this program that brings me so much joy to share with you this evening. And that is the recognition of our honorees, John and Jenny Stodd. I had the good fortune of meeting John and Jenny years ago as I was graduating from the University of Notre Dame and starting out as a first year teacher in the Alliance for Catholic Education program. If you were to have asked me to describe the Stods in those days, I would have used words like joyful, faithful, committed, resilient, kind, generous, gracious, and strong the same words I would use to describe them today. I feel so deeply grateful for being inspired in my early years as a teacher through John and Jenny. And I continue to be inspired by them now as an administrator, 20 years later. Thank you, John and Jenny. You are most deserving of being our honorees this year. I can't wait for everyone else to hear about John and Jenny and to meet them for the first time if you haven't met them yet. So let's get started and hear from their children. Please welcome Joe, Rachel, and Anna Stodd. Mom and Dad, growing up, it was clear that two of your most important values were faith and education. You sacrificed so much to send us to Catholic schools throughout the years. 
In grade school, mom was often room mom and wanted to get involved in whatever you could. You would pick us up from school and make us after school snacks, like banana with peanut butter and chocolate chips on top. You would also help us with homework right away. On top of your busy work schedules, you both always made it to every soccer game and track meet, except the time we made it to state and you were at Joe's confirmation. You both taught me that life should be filled with work you love, but also people you love. I feel so blessed that they provided me with the Catholic education all my life. I feel my faith and character are stronger because of the teachers, professors, and friends that I met. But you also were the first and best teachers we could ask for. You both instilled in me a love of reading and writing, and I still remember Dad helping me review my multiplication facts on the way to Christ the King as the three of us were huddled in the back seat. You both are models of generosity and service and have played vital roles in our community. Dad, for your incredible work in ACE and for your time on the school board at St. Joe, and Mom, for your commitment to planning work for St. Joe for years and for always volunteering in some way. Also, thank you for never pressuring the three of us to succeed, but instead always just reminding us to do our best. You've encouraged all of us to study what we're passionate about, which is truly a gift. We love you so much, and we're so thankful for all that you do to support our family and Catholic education. We love you. Love you. Mom and Dad, first off, I just want to say that I love you. Um, words cannot do justice. The appreciation I have for everything you guys have done for me, um, Rachel and Anna, throughout our lives. And your work ethic is second to none. And you have set such a strong example um, for Rachel, Anna, and I as we make our way into the real world. Um, your support of Catholic schools reflects the incredible generosity um, that you share and that you truly have made a difference on so many people's lives um, through this support. Dad, obviously um, you have made your life, or ACE your life's uh, mission, and Mom, you have been committed to playing an integral role um, in our education since the days of the uh, classroom mom um, over at Christ the King. But anyways, I'm so proud to call you guys my parents um, and of all the things that you have done to strengthen uh, education in Catholic schools. Love you. Wow, what a legacy, what a family, what a gift to our community. I, I hope someday my kids speak about me like they spoke. Beautiful. Friends, we've got about eight minutes left in our live auction. We've got a whole lot of action on some of these items, and somebody's going to get some great experiences, all for St. Joe's, and uh, have some incredible opportunities. I'm going to go down them all once again. Again, about eight minutes left to get your bids in, and I think it's important uh, for those who want to, to get them in quickly. Item number one, principal for today, Principal Kennedy, your son, your daughter, the, the changing places, and uh, experiencing what the principal experiences. It's just a fun day. It's something to talk about. Maybe you got a senior next year or a uh, junior and uh, just some great experience. It's principal for the day. It's item number one on the live auction and uh, we appreciate your support. Item number two, that Napa trip. Again, that's a $25,000 package. Bidding's at $8,000. It's a five bedroom ensuite house, two acres, a chef kitchen, two pools, a pool house. It is probably the best spot you could stay in Napa. You can get everywhere really easily. You can visit all the vineyards. It's for five or six couples. This is the one to chip in on. This is the one to take those friends, those families from St. Joe and I get away. Napa Valley, one of my favorite places in the world. Been there two or three times when I'm visiting my daughter. Just an incredible experience. Yountville is great and this house is about as good as it gets in the all of Napa Valley, friends. It's item number two. It's the five bedroom Napa Valley house. Um, you, want, you don't want to miss that one. Just about six minutes left in our live auction. That South Africa experience. Once again, this is bucket list. I assure you, I've done it. I've met the chef, Liesl. I've ate the food. I've visited the schools. I've seen more elephants and giraffes and zebras and things I never thought I'd see. And if you're ever going to do it, this is the time. Friends, again, we've sold this trip many times for $20,000 and $25,000. People come back and thank us. It's priceless. You can use it anytime. Next year, the following year, the following year. Our friends Joanne and Chad are unbelievably accommodating. Their staff is incredible. You will see things you've never imagined seeing. It's item number 
three, the South Africa experience. The Dale Henry painting, item number four. The Dale Henry painting you just saw. Dale, world-renowned speed painter, world-renowned fine artist. That iconic gold dome, friends, that Notre Dame dome in your son or daughter's dorm room, maybe in Angel's uh, dorm room, uh, maybe in St. Joe, maybe in your office, maybe in your game room or your pool room, maybe in your den, but it belongs to the St. Joe family. It's available tonight. It's for the students at St. Joe, and thank you for your bids. Item number five, we got a lot of action on that one. The Notre Dame Suite Tickets, November 21st versus Louisville. The custom suite, the cushion seats, the big TV screen, the food and wine, the parking passes, and so much more. Get your bids in. We only got about five minutes left. The Notre Dame Suite Tickets, November 21st against Louisville. Item number six. Dinner with Father Terry. It's getting to be kind of popular. I see the numbers going up over there. Dinner with Father Terry. Father Terry coming to your home, cooking for you, telling you stories that only Father Terry can tell and cooking your dishes. Only Father Terry knows how to cook. That's item number six on our live auction dinner with Father Terry, or as we call it, the Priest Feast. Item number seven, the private mass with Father Ryan. You, your family, a special occasion. Guys, this is one that not everybody gets to do. A private mass in the chapel of St. Joseph. It's all for St. Joe and his students at St. Joe. This is your chance. Only about three or four minutes left in our live auction. It closes at eight o'clock, the private mass with Father Lion. And uh, I'm watching the numbers skyrocket on this one. Everybody wants to do this. Sean Kelly, the most popular chef I've seen in a long time. Right here, the temper grill for St. Joe. Dinner for eight at your home. His selection of fine wines. And uh, you guys custom make a meal. Dinner for eight. Once again, um, I'm just going to go down them quickly uh, without the slides. Just get those bids in. There's only a few minutes left. The principle for the day, the Napa trip the South Africa experience. And if you have any questions about that, you could call me after this event. I'll answer them all. It was the experience of my life. The Dale Henry live painting, the Notre Dame suite tickets, the priest feast with Father Terry, the private mass with Father Ryan, the temper grill wine dinner with Chef Sean Kelly, friends. Thank you for bidding. This is your chance. Get those bids in. Continue with that paddle race. Help the scholarship fund. And thank you all for tuning in. Please enjoy this video and find out more about this special family. John and Jenny, we're so happy to celebrate you tonight and to honor your commitment to Catholic schools. John, your joy was evident from the very first moment that I met you in our American Traditions class at Notre Dame, where you taught with such great excitement over some things people might call boring old classics. Um, but you also showed both Matt and I how education isn't just about books, but it is about how our spirituality and our community comes together to form a whole entire experience that is far more joyous than just the books might be. You are a model for us and for all of the couples who have gone through ACE. Thank you for your commitment and for what you have been to Lauren and I. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Congrats. Hey, John and Jenny, congratulations to the entire Stodd family. You have been true St. Joe people. And John, as president of our school board, you led with just such vision and such grace. So we thank you for everything you've done. We wish we could be together to honor you because there is no one that deserves it more. Congratulations and thank you. Congratulations, John and Jenny, on being honored this year at our gala. Too bad it can't be in person, but hopefully this is the next best thing. So we just wanted to say, uh, express our gratitude for not just, of course, the support that you have provided at St. Joe, but also just to the broader diocese of Fort Wayne, South Bend, and of course, at the University of Notre Dame um, and the Alliance for Catholic Education. And so we just wanted to express our congratulations to both of you. Congratulations. I want to give the warmest tribute to John and Jenny Stodd. I work with John here at the university. He is a courageous, dedicated, hardworking leader who is such a servant of Catholic education throughout the nation and throughout the world indeed. God bless you both. Thanks for your example. Thanks for all you've done for Catholic education. And we're just want to express our warmest appreciation. God bless. Congratulations on the Spirit of Service Award from St. Joe High School. You're very deserving. 
because of all your years of hard work and love for the Catholic education at both Christ the King and St. Joseph High School. John and Jenny, Mary and I are proud to call you friends. <laughs> and we thank, thank you for, you for all, all you do. do. Jenny and John, congratulations on being honored tonight. It's so well deserved. You guys have been great friends, great role models uh, for us and for so many in our community at St. Joe. You're just a, a faith-filled couple and family and um, we're proud and happy to call you friends. Congratulations on a well-deserved honor. I'm so, so glad that you are being recognized and uh, most importantly thanked for you, all that you've done for the St. Joe High School community. And thank you beyond words for the life we share supporting Catholic education through ACE. I send my thanks uh, along with uh, special prayers for you and for your family and uh, most importantly for uh, those people who I know this is why you do the work uh, that you do uh, for the children of our community that they uh, grow in faith and hope and love and in lives of service all of which you have modeled so powerfully for all of us through your lives and through your marriage so congratulations on this great day love you guys and god bless you ladies and gentlemen the words shared by their children their friends their colleagues and those connected with the ace community ring true for this special and faith-filled couple i am blessed to have gotten to know john and jenny first because my son Marty and their daughter Anna are good friends, and second, as the principal of St. Joseph High School. They have both been a tremendous support to St. Joseph High School and to Catholic education for many years. It is now my privilege to introduce our special guests and honorees, John and Jenny Stodd. For over a decade, much longer if you count our children's attendance at various junior Indian camps, we have been privileged to be part of the St. Joseph High School family. We are humbled to be selected as this year's gala honorees, for we know many people who have dedicated their time, treasure, and talent to build up the St. Joe community. Our three children, Rachel, Joe, and Anna, were blessed to receive a world-class education at St. Joe, and one that prepared them well for college, and more importantly, for life in this world and in the next. We are so grateful for the many teachers, coaches, and caring adults who challenged and nurtured them, who helped form their minds, hearts, bodies, and souls. Thank you for your hard work and um, example of selfless dedication. We know well how educators at St. Joe, like educators in Catholic schools everywhere, make significant sacrifices. So do parents and families who pay tuition, volunteer, and contribute to much needed fundraisers. Time and again, we witness a spirit of joy that accompanies these sacrifices, which point to the shared conviction of the St. Joe family about the eternal value of our larger purpose. We suspect the joy flows from an awareness that there is nothing more important than educating loving and generous children who develop fully their God-given talents. What could be a more important and inspiring mission than offering a superb Catholic education that forms new generations of young people to know and follow the gospel of Jesus Christ and its call to live in service to others. Being members of the St. Joe family has been a great joy and a blessing for our entire family. We thank John Kennedy and the entire team for their joyful service. And we encourage everyone, especially during these difficult times, to continue to find a way to come together in support of our amazing school. The best is yet to come. Thank you, John and Jenny, for your kind words about St. Joe. You are inspiring to all of us. While we wish that we could recognize you in person tonight, we hope that you feel the depth of gratitude that we have in our hearts for you. Thank you so very much. Before we return to see where things stand in our live auction, I would like to thank Neil Saffer and Play Image for their role in making this happen. Again, thank you to Bethany and her team for putting it all together. And thank you for, to all who spoke and contributed to the program tonight. Thank you, of course, to all of you, our guests, for joining us in this celebration. I hope that even remotely, you have felt the strength and depth of the St. Joe community. Let's turn it back over to Neil. Thank you, Principal Kennedy. Congratulations to Stotts. Congratulations, Katie and Angel. 
Good luck to you both. What wonderful and inspiring young people. Thank you to everybody who tuned in tonight. Thank you to everybody who participated in our auction and our paddle raise. We're going to keep that paddle raise open, so feel free to continue to give and tell your friends to share this link. Thank you to Bethany and Emily for giving us an opportunity to be part of this. And thank you to the St. Joe family for making us feel like one of yours. We appreciate it. We hope to see you all again next year in South Bend. But until then, stay safe, stay strong, stay healthy, and uh, stay that great, wonderful, loving St. Joe family you are. Friends, last year at the Armory, I got to see this incredible young talent. He blew me away. I, I watched him, I shook his hand, I took to, talked to his dad, and I immediately called my wife telling her how amazing he was. Please welcome Justin McCormick. What's going on, St. Joe? Justin McCormick here. I hope you guys had an awesome time tonight at the St. Joe Gala. I wish we could all be together to celebrate, but I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. A few weeks ago, I released a song called Can't Take That. It's a song that I wrote for all the seniors throughout the country that are missing a lot of last important events due to the coronavirus. I asked seniors from all throughout the country to submit photos from throughout their high school career to be used in a slideshow for the music video. This included a bunch of St. Joseph High School students. I had the honor of filming the music video on Father Bly Field in Layton Stadium. I'm so grateful for all the support the St. Joseph community has shown me. It is truly a testament of St. Joe saying, once an Indian, always an Indian. Here's my video for Can't Take That. I would have danced a little slower at my junior prom I would have stayed at the football game till the lights went off I guess I won't get pictures all of us in cap and gown the high fives hugs and kisses We'll have to wait for now The first three years go by so fast The last six months got cut in half Sooner than we wanted We're looking back World got sick but our bond remains Our memories will never fade Friends and love will last And you can't take that All the halls that were so crowded They're empty now School gave me a time To come clean my locker out Had a countdown on my phone Leading to our last day Our yearbooks have no signatures Pomp and circumstance won't play The first three years go by so fast The last six months got cut in half Sooner than we wanted We're looking back World got sick, but our bond remains. Our memories will never fade. Friends and love will last, and you can't take that. We all share the same hurt in our hearts, and it's killing me. We have to stay six feet apart. World got sick, but our bond remains. Our memories will never fade. Soon this will all be in the past. Friends and love will last, and you can't take that. Thank <laughs> you.